In this video, let us uh, continue to solve more problems based on transformation formulae. Alright, so here we have to prove that sine 20 degrees times sine 40 degrees times sine 60 degrees times sine 80 degrees equals 3 by 16. Right, if you notice carefully, only the sine 60 is a standard angle here. You know, we know the value of sine 60 degrees, which is root 3 by 2. But the others, well, we are not really sure. They're not standard angles. So what we are going to do is we're going to group them in such a way and use the transformation formulae such that they result in standard angles. So it's something like this. So what I'm going to do is take sine 60 in the start and group uh, sine 20 degrees and sine 40 degrees. Sine 20 degrees and sine 40 degrees. And keep the sine 80 degrees as it is for now. So now if you see this sine 20, sine 40, these are the form sine A, sine B, right? So sine 60 degrees equals root 3 by 2. Now sine A, sine B, use the transformation form formulae. What is the transformation formula of just sine A, sine B? First of all, you need to write half because there's no 2 here. In sine A, sine B, well, it has to do with the cos, right? Because cos A plus B or A minus B is sine A, sine B. So now we have, uh, we have cos of A minus B. That is, that is the formula for uh, sine A, sine B. So it is cos of A minus B. So it's going to be, let's consider 40 as A and uh, 20 as B. Or anyways, A minus B. Let's 20 degrees minus 40 degrees. Cos 20 degrees minus 40 degrees. Minus cos of A plus B. 40 degrees plus 20 degrees. Into sine 80 degrees. Alright. Alright. So now that we've got this, let us uh, proceed to the next one. See this in the brackets, right? Usage of brackets is like really, really important. Root 3 by, this is going to become 4. So root 3 by 4 times cos of minus 20 is cos 20 itself. So cos 20 minus cos 60 degrees times sine 80 degrees. The best part is we've got a cos 60, which is a standard angle. So we've got root 3 by 4 times, let's multiply sine 80 inside. So it'll be cos 20 degrees times sine 80. Now, what hap now what's happened is we've got another pair now. We've got another transformation here. So, minus uh, cos 60 into sine 80. Cos 60 is 1 by 2. So, that will be what? Uh, sine 80 by 2. 1 by 2 times sine 80 degrees. Right? So, now let us use this transformation. Now. It is cos A sine B, right? So, cos A sine B is belongs to this, the sine thing. So, that's how we relate it. So since it doesn't have a 2 year, it has to be half of sine of 20 plus 80 degrees minus sine of A minus B. So minus uh, sine of A minus B, which is 20 degrees minus 80 degrees minus half of sine 80 degrees, right? All right, so we've transformed cos 20 degrees times sine 80 degrees into half of sine A plus B minus sine A minus B. Right, so this is going to be different. So now what we're going to do is, uh, let's continue this, root 3 divided by 4 times half into sine of 100 degrees minus sine of, well, this is going to be minus 60, right? So sine of minus theta equals minus sine theta. So it's going to be minus into minus, and this will become plus. So this will be sine 60 degrees, 20 minus 80 is 60. It's minus 60. And then the minus comes here and then it's just 60, right? Uh, minus half of sine 80 degrees here. So now what we can do is uh, since there is a half, the half is same in both the terms, we can take out half. So root 3 by 4 times half, open bracket, into sine of 100 degrees plus sine of 60 degrees uh, equals nothing but root 3 by 2, right, root 3 by 2, and minus sine 80 degrees. So now here we have root 3 by 8, because 4 and 2 is 8, and we have, a, we need to convert sine 100. So now we can take out the brackets. We can write sine 100 as uh, sine of 180 minus 80 degrees. 180 minus 80 is 100, so we haven't changed it. We're just manipulating to kind of eliminate these signs, and then plus root 3 by 2 minus sine 80 degrees. Now, this is uh, sine of 180 minus theta, right? 180 minus theta lies in the second quadrant. In second quadrant, sine is positive, so no negative here. 
and then 180 doesn't change so sine remains sine and it is sine 80 degrees sine 80 degrees plus root 3 by 2 minus sine 80 degrees so sine 80 sine 80 gets cancelled positive and the negative sine 80 gets cancelled and all we are left is root 3 by 8 into root 3 by 2 root 3 into root 3 equals 3 8 into 2 is 16 so therefore we've got 3 by 16 so sine 20 degrees sine 40 degrees sine 60 degrees sine 80 degrees equals 3 by 16 all right so this concludes this problem before i end the video let me quickly brief you about the whole problem let me summarize the problem for you so what you have to do in this kind of problems is that you need to identify the standard angle take it aside and then see next you know group any two i'd rather you know keep a thumb rule of taking the smallest angles group them you know you're going to apply the transformation formula there's not going to be two so use the half and then go on from there you're going to get another standard angle and then it's all about you know just going on it's like cyclic it's pretty much it's like a chain reaction eventually you end up with something like this and then since you already have what to prove you're also sure that okay this is the way to do it and here it is 3 by 16 is the answer as given in the question so this ends this video right now i'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on transformation formula Thank you.